Today, we're talking cheese. Filthy, dirty cheesers. Be it a Zerk Rush, Cannon Rush, Proxy Barracks, Engineering Rush, Stealth Rush, King's Gambit, Tinker, Huskar, Meepo, Last Pickers, F Smashing and Neutral, or just gimping you with an early footstool. Basically, anything that makes you barf in your mouth a little. It's cheesy bullshit. And in gaming, people either relish playing these strategies or absolutely despise playing against them. In this video, we'll talk cheese and see if there's more to it than just people trying to get easy wins. They stole it from us, sneaky little orbitsies. So what do we mean when we say cheese? Let's start with the gamer rage that cheesing induces in some of our fellow gamers. Not you, obviously. In cheese, 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 cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. That's it. It's only all in every f***ing game. Cheesing, a close relative to other lame forms of playing the video game, is a source of intense frustration for gamers around the globe. Instead of engaging with the game as most of the players play it, the cheeser avoids much of that by use of a loophole, a cheap trick, or a blind, high-risk, high-reward, all-in playstyle. These moves can often be classified as high-risk, high-reward, which means they are very likely to lead to very coin-flippy game states. You either know how to play, play around it, or you don't. You either move into the trap, or you maneuver around it. You either know how to defend it, or you don't. There are also others where people call the moves cheap or too easy. Basically, the cheeser res receives too much of a reward for little to no risk or skill. This would include spamming overpowered units or moves as the core of one's game plan. This is still a game state where the cheeser just kind of does the thing they want to do and will refuse to divvy from that thing. Thus going back to a game state where the other player either knows how to play around it or they don't. The cheeser is basically forcing this very specific game state to occur. Now, traditionally, the aim of cheese has been thought of as trying to gain an advantage that is often game winning without really playing the game that most of us are playing. It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! Now, I would like to propose that we also include the meme strats. I believe that cheese does not have to aim to directly win the game by putting the cheeser in like an objectively winning position after successfully pulling off said cheese. Cheesy moves can also be used to create a game state in which the cheeser knows the position better than the opponent. You underestimate my power! So this position or game state might objectively be in favor of the opponent more often than not, but since the cheeser knows the grounds like the back of their hand, they are in a sense still favored, or at least more comfortable. But these cheeses are seemingly only employed by Don't try it! Gamers of high culture. Rick Wiz. It feels like this just shouldn't work, right? It really does, but I mean, uh, having faced this myself a couple of times as well, it is so annoying and it, it is truly something that can just somehow, some way, move out of your favor very, very quickly here. I think it just snowballed a little bit too much into Rick's favor here. GG is called indeed. Okay. That was something else. Um... Toot one's own horn. So why does cheese evoke such an emotional response from the gaming population? It feels like... It feels like we didn't get to play the game. Like, if I knew it was coming, or I knew how to counter it in that moment, I would have won! Such a dumb loss, like... I used to play random, but for you I play very specifically. This guy's just chump-checking me and wasting my time. And honestly, becoming frustrated is just not a strange response to getting cheesed. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck! 
<laughs> they just, they don't do anything. They just fucking cheese every game. The easiest fucking sneaky shit. And if you pay attention, frustration is very often a good indication that we do not fully understand something. And here, we don't understand how to beat the cheese, or we don't understand why one would resort to doing something so risky that it's basically wasting both of our times. Cheesing almost sounds like a surefire way to frustrate the opponent. I work so fucking hard and everyone just takes risks and does stupid cheesy shit and kills me all the fucking time. Because we do not like it when we are not able to play the game in a way that we think should be the norm. It does not feel fair that our opponent doesn't play straight up in a battle of only skill. Frankly, the cheeser usually doesn't even attempt to really interact with the opponent to begin with. The cheeser will gladly reduce the game down to a singular coin flip, whilst most people kind of want a little bit more play out of their video game than just a simple coin flip. But really, the outcome of the cheese is mostly up to the person being cheesed. So in that sense, you're actually in control as long as you are aware. Which is funnily paradoxical since the cheeser is kind of the one that wants to have that control. But it's more like, like chess. The cheeser just played the first move and now it's your turn. And in your turn, you have to find an appropriate answer to your opponent's threats. But this again might spark some frustration. This guy doesn't fucking deserve this! Ah! Oh. Oh. Because you might have to execute very precisely to even have a chance of breaking even with this cheesy tactic where the cheeser has seemingly a lot more leeway in their execution. This again makes it feel unfair because the workload is imbalanced between the players, which in turn can just make you feel really, really frustrated. But contrary to popular belief, I think cheesing can also evoke amusement or even intrigue. Now, when you get cheesed, you might just smile and collect your free win, or you get to see part of the game that you might usually not enter. You also get to see something that somebody else has diligently prepared, which can potentially be built on very novel ideas, however gimmicky they may end up being. I, for one, love seeing a finely executed cheese that shows a very particular but deep understanding of a very specific aspect of the game. So then, why do cheesers cheese? Is it easy wins? I think sometimes that's the case, yes. Other times, they might simply try to lash back out at the ladder that hurt them earlier that day. Probably because somebody else cheesed them. <laughs> or maybe playing a full game is just too overwhelming for this particular player right now. Whatever the reason. And they just have to make it more digestible for themselves. By, for example, ending the game earlier on their terms. In the end, cheesing is an act of trying to gain or keep control. Or at least the illusion of control. My trick's gonna work on me. Only money. I think cheesers have a pretty similar reason to doing cheeses to people that practice offbeat openings in chess, for example. A cheeser wants to lead their opponent down a path that they know better than their opponent. And they want to do it before their opponents have a chance to lead them down a more common path. The cheeser wants to draw you down with them into the mud because they play down there all the time. Now, wrapping this up, into a, hopefully a nice conclusion. Cheesers just want to play a very specific part of the game. For doing this, they can have all types of motivations. But when we get cheesed, we can get angry. We can get upset. We lash out. We even alt F4 and uninstall the game. But all we can really do about it is what happens in our own mind. 
And these cheeses can also be a gateway into the other minds of those who choose to employ the cheeses. You can, amongst other things, discern specifically what they, the cheeser, think is an overtuned option in their available kit, or which game states they would prefer to avoid entirely. When it comes to cheeses, one should really just deal with the threats appropriately whilst keeping up with your own scaling and development, since the most effective counter cheese is accepting the game state for what it is and guiding it back into the realm of normalcy. Because if there's anything a cheeser hates more, it's a normal game state. Oh, yes! I hate this! I've been Ryquiz. I hope you all enjoyed this little video essay on cheese, and I desire to see you in the next one. Cheers.